So we've taken a look at this question and we recognize that it involves compound interest and monthly payments. So good opportunity to pull out the TVM solver. So let's go through and identify some of the numbers here. For the present value, well, we look through the question and it doesn't start off with any given amount. So we have to assume that Diane started off with nothing and built her investment from there. So the present value would be zero. Now the future value, that's her $54,267.89. That's what she wants in the future. That's a positive as that's money that in the end we could pull out and put in our pockets. Now the periods. We see that it's 10 years and we're paying monthly. And the periods is the number of payments made in this scenario. So 10 times 12 is 120. The interest rate we're told is 6%. The payment amount, well, that's what we're looking for. So let's skip that. We have 12 payments per year. And we also have 12 compounds per year. So we click on our question mark beside payment amount. And it gives us minus 331.15. Now, we expected a negative because that's money that we're investing into the bank. It's coming out of our pockets. So that makes sense. So we can conclude that Diane had to make payments of $331.15.